الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أهبت في الله Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says Fi kitabih al-kareem And this is a dua we've mentioned before And a dua that we should Memorize Coming from Surah, Surah Ali Imran Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala says And this is a dua that we need in our lives Rabbana la tazir qulubana Bada the daytana Wahabnana من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب. الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم ربنا لا تزد قلوبنا and that's really what I want to focus on where Allah سبحانه وتعالى says ربنا لا تزد قلوبنا. Oh Allah, do not our Lord, do not allow for our hearts to go astray. أحبة في الله the reason why it's absolutely imperative that we focus we surrender to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we ask him for continual guidance because any one of us can become misguided after guidance and that's why in this dua Rabbana la tuzid qulubana O oh Allah do not allow for our hearts to stray Rabbana la tazir qulubana ba'da the daytana after you have guided us meaning that you can have you can become misguided after guidance so that's why the muslim and more importantly the mu'min realizes that at any time their hearts can change because the hearts are between the fingers of ar-rahman our hearts and our guidance is with Allah Azza That the power to change our hearts and how we can be misguided and deceived, it can change. We can. It, it's 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 absolutely possible. And it is if we put destructive things in our lives and have destructive habits then that's exactly what can be the end result. The end result can be that misguidance. رَبَّنَا لَا تَزِقْ قُلُوبَنَا بَعْدَ ذَا دَيْتَنَا وَحَبْ لَنَا مِنْ لَدُنْكَ رَحْمَةً إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْوَحَّابِ So أَحَبَتِ فِي اللَّهِ Beg your Lord and don't think out of arrogance that you are guided and that you will remain guidance. Don't think that today you're on the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam practicing the book in the sunnah based on the minhaj of the salaf and that tomorrow you won't be of the fasakun of those people who are wicked sinners or a person of bid'ah and takfir and a person of ma'asi and kufr and a person of ilhad wa zandaqa. This is absolutely possible for any of us that's why we constantly beg Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Rabbana la tazir qulubana, bada the daytana, wahab lana min ladunk rahmah, innaka antal wahab. We need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need the guidance of our Lord tabarak wa ta'ala. Similar to the way these plants and the foliage needs the rainwater and receives this rizq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are in need of His guidance and His favor. We're in need of Him in everything. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with ikhlas, with the bad ala sunnah. Rabbana la tazad qulubana bada the daytana wa hablana min ladunka rahma innaka antu wahab wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.